will consider one numerical here a Pelton wheel has a mean bucket speed of 10 meter per second with a jet of water flowing at the rate of 700 a is 30 deflect by 160 so u is equal to 10 u is equal to 700 10 to the power minus 3 h is equal to 30 meter and cv is given as 0.98 so from cv we can calculate the v1 is equal to under root 2 gh cv is 0.98 h equal to 30 meter we can put this value and you can obtain v equals to 23.77 meter per second so let's construct here a diagram so this represents the velocity v1 is equal to 23.77 v1 is same as vf vw1 your blade velocity u equals to 10 meter per second so difference of v1 and u is called as vr1 is 23.77 minus 10 that is equal to 13.77 so this complete the inlet triangle now the jet is deflected by deflected by 160 degree so this makes an angle of 160 degree that is why interior angle is 20 degree this one is our vr2 losses are not given so we assume vr2 is same as vr1 is equal to 13.77 from the tip of this we will construct the u velocity that is 10 meter per second this angle will be equals to 20 degree if we join this point with the tip of the u you will get v2 this one is vf2 and this one is vw2 so we can take a cos of 20 cos of 20 is basically consist of adjacent side which is u plus vw2 and hypotenuse is vr2 so in this one you can put for u is equal to 10 vw2 unknown vr2 is 13.77 and we can solve for vw2 so we get vw2 equal to 2.94 meters per second so runner power rho into q into vw1 plus vw2 into u rho is 1000 q is 700 vw1 vw2 we are just calculated u is equal to 10 put this value you will get approximate power equal to 187 kilowatts that will be called as water power is same as rho into g into q into h so this answer will be water power come out to be 206 kilowatts hydraulic frequency is runner power divided by water power so if you substitute multiply by 100 you will get this answer very close to 90.7 this is a question appeared in 2006 we have given a pelton wheel the peripheral speed is 10 water velocity is 25 q is given deflection angle is given we want to find out power develop so just show first v1 then u u1 is equal to 10 now we can locate vr1 vr1 is equal to v1 minus u 25 minus 10 is 15 angle deflected is 120 with respect to x axis so internal angle will be equals to 60 degree and no losses are given so vr2 is same as vr1 equal to 15 from the tip of vr2 you have to draw u value is equal to 10 so this angle is also equal to 60 degree now you can complete the triangle this is v2 vf2 and vw2 you can use cos term here to find out vw2 so cos of 60 equal to u plus vw2 divided by vr2 so we get vw2 equals to minus 2.5 you have to modify our diagram because u value is more you have to change this so this is the correct diagram now now this time vw2 and vw1 both are acting in the same direction there should not be any plus sign but there should be minus sign so this is a problem with the gate rho into q into vw1 